Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am here at Epcot and I am going to show you how I can do a realistic stroller setup. Okay, what better time to be um, doing a stroller setup? So you can see that I'm telling the truth. This is actually how we do it. So what you always want to do is you want to carry, um, you want to bring one of these from home. And it's basically going to be for any kind of junk that could possibly be in the bottom of your stroller when you're getting on and off the bus, when you're going through the security, because it makes life so much easier than to have to shove things in your diaper bag that maybe don't fit. Ours is like exceptionally full right now because it was 35 degrees this morning. We both had winter jackets on, so we had to shove it in there. But if you look under the carriage, I have nothing else under there. My daughter's taking a nap, so this is like the perfect time to film this. So um, you can see I put stroller lights here, and I have two of these. I have one on each side. These are great for hanging bags and also for hanging water bottles. Then I have. Um, We have a cup holder on this side. It's great if you have a cup holder, especially if you're an adult and you're drinking around the world. You could have a place holder to hold your drink so it's not sloshing around everywhere. My batteries fell out when I was getting out off the bus, so before tonight I have my batteries still in here, so I'm gonna put those back in. But this is easily to help to help you find your stroller more easily. I have her name, her um, princess carriage, name, ta um, name tag. This is Again, especially at Magic Kingdom, so you can identify your stroller a lot easier. Um, definitely at Magic Kingdom, but I have a hard time finding it pretty much at any park. Um, so it definitely stands out. You could get them on Etsy. My mom actually made ours, so that's great. I have a diaper bag here, Petunia Pick a Bottom. I could show you um, a video la later of what's in my diaper bag. Basically, you're going to want to have your, obviously, your diapers, wipes. You're going to have a first aid kit. You're gonna have some snacks, and um, I put um, glow, like glow sticks or glow bracelets for at nighttime because those are fun to play with. Oh, as you can see, I also have, forgot to mention this, I have our two water bottles. You're gonna wanna find something insulated for both you and your child because in the hot Florida sun, you do not want just like a regular plastic because it's gonna go hot like immediately within 40, 30, 40 minutes. So, definitely do that even in January you know like I said it was 35 degrees this morning and we're still with the insulated cups now I have another version I prefer that hooks right onto here and I got it at Walmart for like 10 to 15 dollars and it works great the only reason why I didn't bring it for this trip was because it's just me and my daughter for this trip and I know we were gonna have a lot of bus heavy transportations on this trip because the Skyliner does happen to be down right now so then I have this little um, other little stroller caddy in here pretty much just random stuff like I have our festival of the arts booklet during all the festivals they give you these little passports with all of the information like about the food um, artist information and they're free and you can also get stamps for when you um, purchase the different things on the menu so I like to just keep it in here. I also have a pouch from this morning. I have my cell phone, a pair of sunglasses. Now all this stuff, when you collapse your stroller to get on the bus, you're gonna have to um, take it out because otherwise it's gonna fall out of whatever. So that's why that other bag comes in handy. And then yeah, this is my cell phone. And right now I just have some random receipts in here, but again, all that's gonna have to go. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much how we set it up. And to get on and off security, what you're gonna do is, anytime you're going through security or on the bus, you're gonna wanna get one of these things, mine are from Petunia Pick a Bottom. They latch your bag right onto the stroller and you're gonna unlatch them, you're gonna wear your backpack. What I do then is I collapse the stroller, I have my eye on my kid. <laughs> if you have a baby, it might be a little bit harder, you might have to come with less things or a partner. <laughs> Um, but then I'm gonna also carry that white Mickey bag that's under the carriage and I'm also with that right hand I'm gonna carry these two water bottles and then what I do is I make sure that see so I have a um, Uber baby Vista stroller so for mine I don't know how your stroller works but for mine at least I'm gonna make sure that the brake is not engaged and I'm gonna collapse it 
and um, with the brake is not engaged, then if I collapse it, you can easily kind of like drag it on the bus. And I have done this by myself on this trip already several times, but generally there are people that are willing, they see you and they'll help you. But um, I've done it, so you can do it too. Um, it's possible that I, I've taken all of this on and off the bus by myself and it works. Before I forget to mention, um, you know I'm a big promoter of the fuel rods. Um, I'm trying something out new. This is not a promotion or anything, but um, I'm trying this new power bank out. And I have to say, this is so much almost more convenient because the power bank that we had in the past didn't seem to work that well when I was at Disney. Um, that's why I switched to the fuel rods. And I liked the convenience of the fuel rods because as they became dead, you can exchange them. And I still have those with me on this trip, and I'm still exchanging them. But what I love about this thing is I picked it up on Amazon. It, it was like... It was on sale, I think, for 20 or 22 bucks. And it has been lasting, like, the whole day. And it's a fast charge. And it comes with different um, conversions. So I just wanted to mention that because I love it. I'm using it right now. And there's more. I hope you liked today's video and found it useful. If you like this kind of content, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe and watch my other Disney vlogs. Um, it's crazy. We've been here six days, five nights, and four hotels. Just me and my two-year-old to toddler. Um, so if you like that kind of content, um, go ahead and hit that bell so you'll be notified for all future content. Give this video a like. It really does help to support the channel. And we will see you in the next one or at Disney. Bye. Every city, every place